Well, let's talk now to environmental activist Nemo Bassett, who joins us live via Zoom from Port Tarkat. Um, seeing trees now has become some sort of a luxury in metropolitan cities like Lagos. Tell us just how many trees, um, what, what is the tree deficit in a country like Nigeria? How far away are we from getting the adequate number of trees required for our environment? Um, well, let, let's just say that we've lost a large chunk of our tree cover on the, on, in the country. Uh, deforestation, has, deforestation rate has been very high and we have less than, some people say 5% of original uh, rainforest remaining still standing in the country. And that's why we need to protect what is left uh, so, so much. Uh, and then of course we have uh, a lot of degraded forests and we're still having a very high rate of deforestation. People are still cutting down trees as, as if we were at war with trees. Uh, and we, one, one good thing that has been proposed by Africa, you know, which Nigerian government has taken up also, is the building of the Great Green Wall, which is actually cut across the Sahel and uh, le uh, latitudes of Africa. Uh, and that is meant to help tackle global warming and also develop a zone of economic activities. But this would work really if the trees planted are indigenous trees that people relate to and people know how to utilize and how to protect and trees that are adapted to the communities. But coming to just counting the trees, we've lost a lot. And it's time now to restore our cities, to make them green and generally um, contribute our bit to cooling the nation and cooling the planet. So it's one thing to plant trees we know it takes a long time to have them grow. And even when they become trees, um, there's also the challenge of cutting them for commercial purposes. Uh, what needs to be done now uh, in revamping that culture and selling uh, this initiative to people and indeed government that this is perhaps the way to go? Uh, well, it is, it's a matter of attitude. Do you just cut trees? You find some places where you have very uh, good stock of trees and then because somebody does not really want uh, trees or I don't know what why people are so, some people are just so uh, not so comfortable with trees, they just start cutting them like in our, some of our institutions that have very big trees and then suddenly somebody starts chopping them down. Now, you are right when you say that it's not as sometimes people say if you cut down one tree, plant two, plant three, plant four, uh, four trees planted today doesn't replace one tree that was cut today because it takes, takes quite a while for the trees to grow. And especially in the forest region, trees are not just standing, they don't stand alone. They are standing in ecosystems. It's a complex mix of other species depending on the trees and the trees depending on them. And so we should really be very careful before we cut down any tree because you can't replace them immediately and it will take a long time to get them back. There's also the issue of space. You're wondering, um, you know, for Lagosians, for instance, where, <laughs> where, where do you plant these trees? Nimble Bassett, well. we're going to continue this conversation some other time. Environmental activist who joins us from Port Harcourt, thank you so much for talking to us.